Hey guys, Michael from Cocker Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be going over how to calculate root mean squared velocity. So you just you just use this equation right here, uh, VRMS equals square root of 3RT divided by mm. R is the gas constant, 8.3145 joules over mole times Kelvin. T is the temperature in Kelvin, and then the molar mass. MM is the molar mass, but in kilograms per mole. So you gotta get the regular molar mass and divided by a thousand, and then that will give you the velocity in meters per second. So let's just take a look at an example question. What's the root mean squared velocity of CH4? Well, let's plug in the numbers. So we get we'll put three times eight point three one four five times the temperature. So the temperature is fifty five degrees Celsius. We have to turn this into Kelvin by adding two hundred and seventy three and then that'll give us 328 degrees Kelvin. And 328 divided by the molar mass of CH4, that is 16 grams per mole. We divide that by 1,000, and we get 16 divided by 1,000, which will be 0.016. And then we just take the square root of this, plug that into your calculator, and you'll get the square, you should get 708 meters per second. And that's the root mean squared velocity of CH4. Well, pretty easy, just use this, this equation to calculate root mean squared velocity, but make sure your molar mass is in kilograms per mole, and then make sure the, you're using this R instead of the other gas constant, and the temperature has been Kelvin. And lastly, the units will come out in meters per second for the velocity. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry. If you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.